Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're at Pete's Egg Arm Farm and uh, this time I'm here to show you the latest version, brand new rifle which is the um, latest version of the Air Arms Ultimate Sporter and uh, <clears throat> this one's got the very attractive walnut stock with the soft touch cheek piece um, which rather sets it off nicely and very nice grade of wood as well so you've got so it's a very attractive gun uh, it's the obviously it maintains the specification externally of the original ultimate sporter and um, the later obviously the whole point of this one is that it's fitted with a regulator um, to maximize consistency and we'll, we'll come to that so uh, just price wise first of all so I don't forget it's a thousand and forty nine pounds um, in the, this um, sorry the black soft touch configuration which would have a, a entire black um, it's a rubber coating over wood so it's nice and um, quite refined feel to it but the whole black version is uh, as I say a thousand and forty nine for another hundred pounds you get either this walnut version or the laminate version um, <clears throat> so you are talking serious money but again you're talking air arms pedigree here and uh, one of their sort of top of the range rifles um, and you know I'm a big fan of air arms for that you're paying for that nth degree of accuracy and build quality etc uh, with the stock as I say it uh, follows the pattern of the original ultimate sporter and that means they were always aiming at um, adjustability so you can set the gun to give you um, a relaxed aim point and um, eye scope alignment can be set so you're not straining your muscles all the time so as you can see here you've got a fully adjustable butt pad um, you've got the, obviously it sits on little um, rollers in there the bolts go into these retainable rollers um, you can take it all apart and then as you can see that's a spacer section you can add additional spacers so you can increase the length of pull um, or you can adjust the um, with an allen key you can adjust <coughs> that whole rubber butt section up and down um, so you can again get your uh, adjust, play with the height that way but in addition to that here you've got sort of full sophistication obviously you've got a sling swivel stud there but you've also got an allen key adjuster there that will adjust the height of the cheek piece but if you take that cheek piece completely out underneath the cheek piece there's another little plate with more screws and you can actually adjust the um, you can offset the cheek piece as well so in other, all that is building towards a perfect um, set eye scope situation so there I've got pressure on my cheek and the scope coming in full into sight um, I've got a full circular sight picture <clears throat> but I've set that so that it's maintaining the right position um, just for my build and again as I say eye scope uh, alignment you've got a really nice pistol grip here um, sort of drop down you've got a thumb shelf You've got stippled panels on this one, um, and I've, it's quite a nice refined feel. I probably prefer that to checkering, to be honest. Um, it's very nice indeed. You've got sort of fluted fore end there for your, your grip. Again, you've got um, another sling swivel stud, so it's fully at all, at all this sort of attention to details coming as standard. Um, you've got a <coughs> threaded silencer here. This is the QTEC specification, latest air arm silencer very efficient uh, full barrel shroud as you can see there uh, that vents out some of the um, spent air from the uh, breech end there charging is done via the um, front filler valve I'll just unscrew that and that's got the classic air arms t-bar um, charging system um, I'm fairly boring on that but it is the safest system by far when you think of the high pressure air that we're dealing with with these guns um, when you lock your airline on you don't want it to fly off under pressure mid charge and with this system you have their little half brass cup that slides on with a slot you twist it and it's completely locked in place it can't go anywhere while you're charging so for peace of mind it's a little bit slower than a pro but for peace of mind I'd sooner have that every time um, <clears throat> with these models you've also got a really refined side lever so it's side lever cocking instead of the old uh, conventional bolt and these are quite slick so you pull that all the way back that clicks and then in the side here classic air arms um, looks a little bit of an add-on but it always has done but it works very slickly and that's their multi-shot system so you've got a sort of a the back plate there so it gives it away 
and then you <coughs> you have their uh, rotary style magazine there. We'll just quickly fill that mag. It's almost filled. And all this is, you just rotate the drum either way, where whichever way you want to fill it. So you're not some. A lot of these magazines are very fiddly, and you're you've got to keep going one way. You've got to have known how many shots you've put in. It gets very complicated. With here, you can see through the drum. You can see if you've missed one. Fill them in turn. That's all pretty well filled now. And then that whole magazine is now ready to go. You slot that into the side of the action, which I'll just do there. That slots in snaps into place, lever comes up and then you're ready to fire. Safety wise I'll just fire it off and I'll just do a couple of shots to show you the action. As you can see you've got a really fast backup shot. <clears throat> the whole system works really well. Um, now the whole point of this system as we said at the start, this is the new it's the R version. Um, the Ultimate Sporter R, S510R, and the R is stands for regulated. And what they've done is they've actually fitted a factory regulator inside. Um, and this will, instead of where you've got your normal um, pneumatic air gun, you've got to worry, if you overcharge it at the start, you'll actually set up a power curve and you'll have um, uh, low shots, low powered shots at the start because you've put too much air in and the valve is fighting to open. And then as it goes through the charge, the, the power will start to even out and then drop. But it's a far more marked power curve. And once you fit a regulator, you're f it's effectively then filling a separate chamber. And consistently is, um, consistency should be much, much better. Now on test here, I got, um, they're quoting sort of around the 150, 120 shots. Uh, sorry, 115, 120 shots on a charge. Um, just for the record, this is a... 2-2 version but I got 115 shots within 13 feet per second which as anyone will tell you I mean you'll never notice the difference over a, um, on a field target course with that for example or HFT but that that board that margin of consistency is superb and over say over 115 shots um, that's that's pretty damn good going uh, I've, accuracy with this I've had sort of sub half inch at 40 yards um, just on test Again, you'd, if, you, if it was your own rifle, you'd pellet select and you'd have a session and you'd um, hone that down even further, I'm sure. But as usual, they're very accurate. So that's the Air Arms S510R Ultimate Sporter Regulated.